compared with Huawei P20. Huawei P30 is similar phone structure. Major differences in disassembly and assembly include the following aspects. First aspect, TP repair policies. The front cover assembly of Huawei P30 cannot be disassembled. If the TP is faulty, replace the front cover assembly directly. The front cover assembly of the Huawei P20 can be disassembled into TP and middle frame assembly. The TP can be replaced if it is faulty. Second aspect, fingerprint sensor module repair policies. Huawei P30 adopts in-screen fingerprint sensor. Remove the subboard to remove it. Clean the fingerprint sensor slot properly. Huawei P20 adopts front fingerprint sensor. Separate the TP from the middle frame assembly before removing the TP. Third aspect, side button and side button FBC. To remove the side buttons and side button FBC of Huawei P30, disassemble the phone first. Remove the side button bolts. Remove the side buttons from the slots. Then remove the side button FBC. If the button tactile feeling is abnormal, the side button pins inside the side button slots can be replaced. For Huawei P20, the side buttons can be directly removed without disassembling the phone beforehand. The side button FBC can be removed without removing the side buttons first. There is no side button pin for Huawei P20. Prepare the required tools. Power off the phone. Use the eject pin to remove the SIM card tray. Place the phone on the heating platform with the rear cover facing down. Heat the phone at 65 plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Place the phone in the phone disassembly fixture 2.0 with the TP facing down. Attach the vacuum cup to the bottom of the rear cover. Rotate the handle of the fixture to open a gap. Insert the opening pick in the gap. Swipe it along the edges to separate the rear cover. Take out the phone. Remove the rear cover completely. Attach the protective foam to the rear cameras. Remove the adhesives from the rear cover. Use flat tip spudger to remove residual adhesives and mylar from the middle frame and rear cover. Use lint-free cloth dipped in alcohol to clean the rear cover and middle frame. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the nine screws from the PCBA support and four screws from the subboard support. Separate the bottom of the graphite sheet. To remove the PCBA, you can use plastic spudger to pry out the PCBA support at its bottom above the LCD B2B connector or at its right snap fit. Use plastic spudger to pry out the subboard support at its upper right corner and then remove it. Use the B2B connector removal tool to unfasten the battery B2B connector, LCD B2B connector, main FPC B2B connectors, front camera B2B connector, rear camera B2B connectors, fingerprint sensor connection, FPC B2B connector. Use flat tip spudger to remove the white and black coaxial cables in sequence. The coaxial cables cannot be reused once removed. Remove the cameras. Attach the protective foam to the front camera. Pry out the PCBA at its top near the front camera slot and then remove it. Use the opening card and lint-free cloth to remove the thermal adhesive from the PCBA and front cover assembly. Apply around 120 milligrams of the Gel 30 thermal adhesive in the silk screen frames on the front cover assembly. Slightly bend the LCD FPC and battery FPC. Align the PCBA with the locating pin on the lower right corner of the front cover assembly. 
Insert the bottom of the PCBA in place. Align the PCBA with the locating pin on the left. Insert the PCBA in place. Remove the protective foam from the front camera. Insert the front camera in the slot on the front cover assembly. Fasten its B2B connector. Place the rear camera module with its back facing up. Align the rear camera copper foil with the left side and bottom of the camera. Attach the copper foil to the back of the rear camera. Smooth the remaining part of the copper foil on both sides of the camera. Insert the rear camera module in the slot and fasten its B2B connectors. Install new black and white coaxial cables in sequence. Fasten the black coaxial cable head on the connector with the silk screen mark B. Fasten the white coaxial cable head on the connector with the silk screen mark white. Then fasten the main FPC B2B connectors. Fingerprint sensor connection FPC B2B connector. LCD B2B connector. Battery B2B connector. Align the left side of the subboard support with the subboard. Insert its bottom in place and push the subboard support rightward. Insert the top of the PCBA support in the front cover assembly. Fasten the left, right and bottom snap fits. Smooth the graphite sheet and attach it to the battery and main FPC. Use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten the 13 screws. Ensure that different types of screws are tightened on the correct positions. Attach a warranty sticker to the specified screw. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the 16 screws. Separate the bottom of the graphite sheet. To remove the PCBA, you can use plastic spudger to pry out the PCBA support at its bottom above the LCD B2B connector or at its right snap fit. Then push the PCBA support to remove it. Use plastic spudger to pry out the subboard support at its upper right corner and then remove it. Use the B2B connector removal tool to unfasten the battery B2B connector, main FPC B2B connectors, fingerprint sensor connection FPC B2B connector, speaker B2B connector, headset jack B2B connector, Use flat tip spudger to remove the white and black coaxial cables in sequence. The coaxial cables cannot be reused once removed. Pry out the lower speaker at its lower right corner. Remove the adhesive from the speaker slot. Use the B2B connector removal tool to unfasten the antenna subboard B2B connector. Remove the antenna subboard. Remove the adhesive from the antenna subboard slot. Use plastic spudger to pry out the USB subboard at its upper right corner. Slightly bend the FPC upwards. Insert the USB port on the subboard in the opening on the middle frame. Align the USB subboard with the locating pins. Press the USB subboard in place. Attach the antenna subboard adhesive to the slot. Align the antenna subboard with the locating pins and screw holes. Attach the antenna subboard to the speaker. Fasten the antenna subboard B2B connector. Attach a piece of adhesive to the speaker slot in the front cover assembly. Align the speaker with the speaker holes. Insert the speaker in the slot. Install the black and white coaxial cables in sequence. Fasten the black coaxial cable head on the connector with the silk screen mark B. Fasten the white coaxial cable head on the connector with the silk screen mark white. Then fasten the speaker B2B connector, headset jack B2B connector, main FPC B2B connectors, fingerprint sensor B2B connector, battery B2B connector, align the left side of the subboard support with the subboard, insert its bottom in place and push the subboard support rightward. Insert the top of the PCBA support in the front cover assembly. Fasten the left, right and bottom snap fits. Smooth the graphite sheet and attach it to the battery in main FPC. Use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten the 16 screws. Ensure that different types of screws are tightened on the correct positions. Attach a warranty sticker to the specified screw. Remove the PCBA support and PCBA. 
remove the Mylar from the side button slots. Take protection measures on the battery. Press the volume up button. Use metal tweezers to pry out the volume button bolt. Press the volume down button. Remove the volume button. Press the lower part of power button. Use metal tweezers to pry out the power button bolt. Press the upper part of the power button and then remove it. Use metal tweezers to push the side button pins from out of the slots. Use plastic tweezers to remove the side button pins. Pry out the side button FBC pad. Pry out the side button FBC support. Then remove the side button FBC. Clean the side button FBC slot. Remove the release film from the side button FBC. Align the side button FBC with the slot in the middle frame. Press the side button FBC to the bottom of the slot. Insert the plastic tweezers in the slot and gently press FBC against the middle frame. Align the side button FBC pad with the locating pin. Attach the FBC pad to the slot. Use the plastic tweezers to insert the two side button pins in the slots. Insert the hook and volume down button end in the slot. Then insert the other end in place. Press the volume up button. Use plastic tweezers to insert the black bolt in place. Press it to the bottom of the slot. Rotate the handle to remove it. Insert the side button pin in the power button slot. Insert the hook on the upper end of the power button in the slot. Press the lower end of the power button in place. Insert the purple bolt in the power button slot. Check that the button tactile feeling is normal. Remove the subboard and fingerprint sensor connection FBC. Use metal tweezers to pry out the fingerprint sensor. Pry out the fingerprint sensor FBC pad on its right side. Remove the fingerprint sensor module. Use lint-free cloth dipped in alcohol to remove the adhesive from the slots. Check that the fingerprint sensor slots are clean and free of foreign objects. Attach a piece of adhesive to the fingerprint sensor slot and fingerprint sensor FBC pad slot respectively. Remove the release films. Vertically install the fingerprint sensor and fingerprint sensor FBC pad. Press them for 10 seconds respectively. Use plastic tweezers to push out the rear camera lens. Remove the adhesive from the camera lens decorative part. Remove the release film from the rear camera lens. Use plastic tweezers to install the rear camera lens. Use your thumb to press the rear camera lens for around 40 seconds. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the 16 screws. Separate the bottom of the graphite sheet. To remove the PCBA, you can use plastic spudger to pry out the PCBA support at its bottom above the LCD B2B connector or at its right snap fit. Then push the PCBA support to remove it. Use plastic spudger to pry out the subboard support at its upper right corner and then remove it. Use the B2B connector removal tool to unfasten the battery B2B connector. LCD B2B connector, main FBC B2B connectors, front camera B2B connector, rear camera B2B connectors, fingerprint sensor connection FBC B2B connector, speaker B2B connector, headset jack B2B connector. Use flat tip spudger to remove the white and black coaxial cables in sequence. The coaxial cables cannot be reused once removed. Remove the cameras. Attach the protective foam to the front camera. Pry out the PCBA at its top near the front camera slot and then remove it. Use the opening card and lint-free cloth to remove the thermal adhesive from the PCBA and front cover assembly. Pry out the lower speaker at its lower right corner. Remove the adhesive from the speaker slot. Use the B2B connector removal tool to unfasten the antenna subboard B2B connector. Remove the antenna subboard. Remove the adhesive from the antenna subboard slot. Use plastic spudger to pry out the USB subboard at its upper right corner. 
Use the B2B connector removal tool to remove the fingerprint sensor connection FPC. Use plastic spudger to pry out the headset jack at its bottom. Align the headset jack with the slot and insert it in the middle frame. Hold the fingerprint sensor connection FPC with the QR code side facing up. Fasten the connection FPC B2B connector on the fingerprint sensor FPC path. Insert the USB port on the subboard in the opening on the middle frame. Align the USB subboard with the locating pins. Press the USB subboard in place. Attach the antenna subboard adhesive to the slot. Align the antenna subboard with the locating pins and screw holes. Attach the antenna subboard to the speaker. Fasten the antenna subboard B2B connector. Attach a piece of adhesive to the speaker slot in the front cover assembly. Align the speaker with the speaker holes. Insert the speaker in the slot. Apply around 120 milligrams of the Gel 30 thermal adhesive in the silkscreen frames on the front cover assembly. Slightly bend the LCD FPC and battery FPC. Align the PCBA with the locating pin on the lower right corner of the front cover assembly. Insert the bottom of the PCBA in place. Align the PCBA with the locating pin on the left. Insert the PCBA in place. Remove the protective foam from the front camera. Insert the front camera in the slot on the front cover assembly. Fasten its B2B connector. Place the rear camera module with its back facing up. Align the rear camera copper foil with the left side and bottom of the camera. Attach the copper foil to the back of the rear camera. Smooth the remaining part of the copper foil on both sides of the camera. Insert the rear camera module in the slot and fasten its B2B connectors. Install new black and white coaxial cables in sequence. Fasten the black coaxial cable head on the connector with the silkscreen mark B. Fasten the white coaxial cable head on the connector with the silkscreen mark white. Then fasten the speaker B2B connector, headset jack B2B connector, main FPC B2B connectors, fingerprint sensor connection FPC B2B connector, LCD B2B connector, battery B2B connector. Align the left side of the subboard support with the subboard. Insert its bottom in place and push the subboard support rightward. Insert the top of the PCBA support in the front cover assembly. Fasten the left, right, and bottom snap fits. Smooth the graphite sheet and attach it to the battery and main FPC. Use the Phillips screwdriver to tighten the 16 screws. Ensure that different types of screws are tightened on the correct positions. Attach a warranty sticker to the specified screw. Remove the protective film from the rear cover frame adhesive. Align the frame adhesive with the locating pins. Place the frame adhesive on the adhesive attachment fixture. Align the rear cover with the locating pins. Press the rear cover against the frame adhesive. Press the rear cover edges to fix the frame adhesive. Align the four pieces of small adhesives with the silkscreen lines on the rear cover. Attach the small adhesives properly. Remove the release films from the adhesives on the rear cover. Remove the protective foam from the rear cameras. Attach the vacuum cup to the rear cover. Install the rear cover properly. Press the edges of the rear cover to fix it. Check that the appearance of the phone is normal. Place the phone in the press fitting base mold in the correct direction with the TP facing down. Place the base mold in the middle of the press fitting platform. Press the handle to its furthest extent. Press fit the phone as instructed on the screen. Then take out the phone. Insert the SIM card tray in the phone. Check that the phone can start up properly. This is the end of the video tutorial. Thanks for watching.